So I'm a little bit upset right now. Um, I managed to build up these four battery packs uh, and get these mounts on the bike and move this uh, cup holder over so that everything is still in place. And all of the footage that I shot doing that, I managed to completely wipe out. So it's gone, not coming back, yeah. So anyway, these are done. They all test out, they're all solid. They're uh, pretty freaking heavy, uh, but that's okay because that's why we're mounting them up front because that's gonna give some more traction on the wheel because this is the drive wheel in the front and it needs more weight to be able to uh, make him run more comfortable when he's riding. So that's going on. The next thing I'm doing is I'm creating some battery sleds to mount on here that these will then attach to about like so. We'll figure out the actual angle for them later, but uh, for right now, that's kind of the plan. I'm hoping that these will hold. We're gonna try it and see. Oh, hey, it's Rob, and uh, I'm going to try and build up some battery sleds. <sighs> I've, I'm trying this, it's it's the prototype, so I'm, I'm trying to do the best job I can with what I've got. And uh, what I've got are these pieces of aluminum that I cut to size because that's one of the things I do. The general idea <clears throat> is for one of these, I want to have this piece as the main spine. Uh, this piece will be attached to the bottom to act as the, you know, the base for it. Uh, I may put another piece on top just to help keep it bound within this area. This is slightly longer than the battery pack is which is kind of what I want. Uh, and then this piece will sit on top and give it a little bit wider space to attach the battery, a little bit more strength. Um, hopefully this will be enough. Uh, we're going to just mount it with bungee cords at this time because uh, I'm sure it's going to change and I don't know how much it's going to change. So, you know, I got to get some feedback from Ron on how it works, what it's like. The batteries are heavier than I thought they would be, but, you know, such is life. I want to mount this on here um, by screwing it onto the bottom Oop. with some screws. These are stainless steel 440. Uh, I need to get this measurement of about half this thickness up from the bottom, drill a couple small holes. Uh, match them on this piece, drill them out, tap them, and then attach these with some uh, <clears throat> JB weld. And that should give it sufficient strength to hold it in place. Um, thing is, it's not going to, you know, if it gets damaged, if this thing is hanging up here like that, it's, there's probably going to be some damage taken. Uh, but this is the best chance that I have right now for getting something that's going to be able to collect data and let us move forward. All right, what are we? This is inches. Okay, I think that's millimeters. I'm pretty sure these are going to be 6.39 millimeters. Well, all right, is it imperial? Slightly over a quarter of an inch. Okay, well, I guess that's more imperial than I thought it was going to be. I mean, most most aluminum stuff comes from China, but uh, <clears throat> okay. So if we measure an eighth of an inch up from the bottom on here, uh, so what's an eighth of an inch? How about we just go to uh, One sixteenth. 
one eighth. Never use your calipers this way. The next thing I want to do is try and locate two holes that are about, well, I guess a little bit leaning more toward the outside than one third. So we'll go with, say, a quarter. So if we go for a quarter inch here, let's see, how wide is this? Let's look. An inch. So if we go with a quarter of an inch. Let's just go with it's close enough. That's good. away for now. So I did center punch these so that they would uh, I would have a good place to start the drills. I missed one there a little bit so I had to redo another one. Uh, I am using a 3 30 seconds inch bit because uh, where the 440 you want to use a number 39 ideally and 330 seconds is as close as I can get to a number 39 without having you know a jobber drill set which I don't have with me The next thing I want to do is glue these up and let them sit overnight because I want to be able to drill these holes in such a way that I don't have to worry about trying to line them up accurately. I can just drill through and get the screws in there. So, mixing up some epoxy. Mixing up some epoxy. that cure overnight is just a piece of duct tape that I put upside down to try and hold them better in place I know I don't really have clamps that will work I don't think well anyway uh, I'll let these go overnight and then we'll pick up tomorrow uh, it is the next day and these are stuck well but they are uh, attached enough that I can continue. So, yeah, let's move you out of the way again. Next thing I want to do is uh, tap these for a 3 16 bolt. That's well it's that. That's the uh, that's the beasties that's going to hold this in from the other side, and unfortunately, this is going to be uh, a single mechanical mount for this entire thing, and I I don't think this is going to be enough in the long run to hold it in, but 
I think it's going to be enough temporarily. So it'll go in like this, and then this whole thing sits at sort of an angle like that. I can see it. So it's kind of hard to see. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to try and get these uh, tapped out and go from there. And I did pick up this uh, kind of nifty tap and die set that uh, has a unique feature that I really like. For one, the uh, the taps have an adapter that hooks on that uh, connects to a ratchet handle. And I really like that because then this is the same handle that you use for the die. Uh, and I really like this because one of the difficult things is trying to get the right leverage <clears throat> when you're trying to tap something. I did get these tapped. I had to take them out to the garage to do it, but uh, essentially this is going to fit right in here. Yeah, just nice and smooth like that. Um, and it'll bottom out up here. I'm going to ream that out a little bit. Um, and then this flat piece goes on top. That will get epoxied down. And then I've got these for the bottoms. I decided to add reinforcing because, you know, it's probably a good idea. Uh, and then I did get some side pieces in case I want to put those on. Um, and I might. There's something to be said for that. It looks like that will work nicely, actually. So I will probably do that, set these up, and get them ready to go on fully tomorrow. then I guess we're just going with these and I'm going to try and find a way to clamp these a little bit better All right that is going to have to do for now um, I gotta let these sit overnight, let the epoxy cure, and then I can mount them tomorrow. And uh, this is cutting it really, really tight because tomorrow I have to pack up. So, <laughs> this is by the skin of my teeth. Um, thinking about these, they are not very mechanically sound. I'm not super happy with them, but it's proof of concept. I think if this works for Ron, what I'll do is see if I can fabricate some of these out of steel and actually weld them. That way uh, they will be quite a bit more stronger. A little heavier too, but I don't think that's going to be a huge issue. Uh, we'll find out. The other thing I might want to do is come up with a better, uh, better like a clip-on mount, kind of like, you know, a, a tool batteries. You know, if you have those, they've got that sort of slide-on lock mount. Um, something like that, except uh, heavier duty. I have to figure that out. Okay, next day, declamping. Yep, that one is uh, not super good, but all right, it's holding. And I'm not going to complain too much because, again, it's a prototype. We're just going to have to deal with it as it is because I don't have any more time to make new ones. Uh, one thing that I want to do before I really get into this is I want to make sure that there's enough of a service loop here to be able to have the steering go both, you know, full left and full right without binding on the wire.
So next I want to mount these on here this way with these. Now I do have these washers to space them out so that I can make sure that this is not going to bottom out when it's mounted. So I'm going to start with two, see if we need three. Looks like two is just about perfect. Oh yeah, oh that feels good. Single mounting point is not very good, but it's what I got. Same thing, two washers, stick them back, find a blind hole. I think I want to put something else in there, something to help uh, keep them from wobbling this way, because that's going to be an issue. So what I've got is some stop leak tape that I've cut into strips that will go here. Uh, this is intended to stop leaks in things like vinyl or you know, plumbing, things like that. It's very stretchy and very sticky and very deformable, and I think it will work just fine on here, if I can get the backing peeled off. There we go. Okay. to cut a hole. <laughs> oh, well. Let's try this one and we'll see if this works. Alright. I think that's enough of a success to uh, do it on the other side and there we go they are mounted they're fairly solid they're you know they're not super solid i wish uh, i could make them more solid before we go but um it's what i got right now all right got all three batteries connected yeah i can tell this is not where I want it to be. So is that going to continue? Yeah, I'm going to have to tighten that one up. All right. Well, let's see. Come on. She's on.
battery is fully charged and all the uh, where's the oh yeah there that side yep forward and reverse work uh, I want to tighten that one up and I think we are good to go so I've got all the batteries and chargers uh, in the box. Oh, no, I need to put one more charger in there. And then this is ready to go put on the trailer, of which I am not going to try and load tonight because we are having the snowstorm. It's supposed to end by about 7 in the morning, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm hoping that the plow guy will come tomorrow and plow out the driveway and I can get the trailer, get that hooked up and serviced and loaded, and then on Saturday I can head down. So, uh, see if Ron likes it. <laughs>